Okay, I've been thinking about this for a while. See, the thing about this whole Microsoft leak documents thing is I kind of find it bullshit. I, I have to. For a couple of reasons. Yes, I know that the Microsoft lawyering department pulled documents. But, you know what? Apple's pulled documents. The uh, legal department has pulled documents. That said that their computers were going to go full motion, uh, motion control. And it never happened. Documents were just full shit. I don't know why these legal people do this. Just run in and just pull these documents that they know is bullshit. Maybe because it starts this whole speculation and guessing game that could, you know, make uh, too much hype for their next uh, console or computer. I don't know. But yeah, I find the whole documents thing just to be utter BS. I guess Microsoft's only real reason why they pulled the documents was... Fear of retribution if, you know, half the information turns out to be untrue. The only problem is, is that the documents already found itself in just about every tech blogger site out there, along with every tech blogger out there, so, yeah, they all know it's happening. So whatever face Microsoft thinks they were uh, saving, they failed utterly. And, and yeah, I, I still see bullshit being printed out over and over and over again. Like this old rumor bullshit back in March where they said that uh, a bunch of DLCs were coming to the Wii U. I knew that was bullshit right off the bat when they said one of them was going to be World of Warcraft. Yeah. Try downloading World of Warcraft on the Wii U. Yeah, they'll allow you a USB hard, extendable hard drive to attach to, but even though it's got plenty of... Um, Memory, it's still going to take forever to download. I mean, there's tons of bullshit. One person, I mean, all the bullshit where people are saying that the Wii U is less powerful than the current gens, which is just beyond stupid. I mean, this is technology from... I mean, the GPU from the Wii U comes from 2008 mid-2009, and CPU, well, that's completely brand new. It's got some fairly old stuff in there. But the Xbox 360 and the PS3 have technology that came from 2005. I mean, it's like one person I heard who was talking about this said that Nintendo would have to really, really try really hard to make their console their new console weaker than the Xbox 360. Even if they put in a graphics card from 2000... I mean, from, well, 2006. And, you know, let's not forget that the, the Wii U, it, technically, the ever since the GameCube, has pretty much uh, the same CPU and the GPU that's found... or the same CPU and GPU family that's found in the Xbox 360, since the original Xbox had a completely different chipset. But then Microsoft decided to dump all that due to <coughs> legal reasons and go with their more current CPU and GPU that's in there now. I mean, yeah, some of the stuff in the leaked documents kind of do make sense. I mean... It's been rumored that Microsoft is planning on going the Wii route with their next console because, of, well, they didn't exactly make very much money. I mean, they make a ton of money now off the Xbox 360, but they, eh, but they didn't make it back then. I mean, let's let's face it, Nintendo pretty much controlled the market for a while, and it was based under really old technology. I mean, Wii was just... I mean, the regular Wii was just... It has no HD capabilities. And Sony may either be going the same route too, or try to make, try to make something like their uh, PS2. If you all remember, the PS2 in its generation 
was pretty weak, but it controlled the market. And the reason why I think Sony's going to go the way they did was, well, they didn't make a whole fuckload of money off the PlayStation 3. Console started out at uh, $600, fell right there. Then there were other problems. And, I mean, they were supported by their other electronics, but now their other electronics has completely collapsed, and Sony hasn't made a profit in over four years. And they're in really bad, really, really bad shape. I mean, seriously. When they roll out their next console, I bet you it won't be as strong as the uh, PS3 was or when it came out. If the PS3 was even all that strong, I mean, they had a GPU that was based on the latest NVIDIA card, but they literally uh, cut out half of its abilities, because, and they did it intentionally because they wanted to show the power of the cell processor to its customer base, and it didn't really help. It was a complete clusterfuck. And the whole, but Microsoft documents, there's a lot of reasons why I find it bullshit. The whole streaming game service ain't going to happen for a long while, especially under Microsoft and all the deals they have with the certain stores. And also, the, under consoles, it's a lot more difficult to get games out for it online as DLC than it is to just sell them, because there are a lot of Xboxes and PS3s and Nintendo Wii's that are not connected to the internet yet. And that whole, let's leave it on, always hooked up to the internet, bullshit on that one. And as well as the uh, AR glasses. Yeah. After the clusterfuck uh, Steel Battalion and Star Wars Connect, well, in my honest opinion, I think Connect is pretty much dead. I do think they may actually not have a very powerful console in this upcoming generation, mostly because they just don't want to lose money. And the same's going to happen with PlayStation because, well, they lost way too much money. And like I said, and I think a lot of are going to agree with me, this gener this next gen is not going to be as powerful as well this current gen was. You know, when they went for the latest and greatest. Well, that's all I have to say. See ya.